weekend update from Skagit Valley College. It was great. Trawler Fest and a Cordis boat show. The weather was perfect. We got to show off King's Pride here to so many people. Misty was dynamite. She filled in when Matt and I uh, were teaching and couldn't be up here on the boat. But uh, big shout outs and thanks to everybody who came by and told us their ideas, even if they weren't interested in this boat and they're looking for other boats, stuff like that. We've got a bunch of automobiles driving around now with our little marine maintenance bumper stickers, fun, fun stuff. Bob Perry came and hung out. He just dropped in on Friday. So um, we, we sat there and told stories and BS'd and fun stuff like that. Bob is great. And uh, by the way, we have hit our target where the current bid is the high bid is 71,000. We were hoping to get at least 75. We knew we probably wouldn't get all of the well over $100,000 investment back out of this, but it, it, it served its purpose as everybody knows for a training platform. And of course they've been asking, would you do it again? Well, that's what we do, we fix boats. Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out. Another little treasure we have, we Misty put together this King's Pride. This is our storyboard and everybody was thumbing through these and asked if we could put it up on the internet. So we're going to digitize this, the questions and the costs and things like that and pictures. For those of you that couldn't come to the boat show, this will be on the cruiserscollege.org page. And so that'll be fun. Um, the bids, bidding is still open till the end of the month, another week or so. You can email in questions, call me, things like that. <clears throat> but we are going to be out this weekend on my own boat, the Black Pearl, shaking it down, making sure everything's okay. I didn't even realize until like Sunday that it's a holiday weekend coming up. We've been so busy with this project. Uh, we're also, the students this week will be finishing up, doing a little bit of plumbing, but mostly electrical terminations and bringing things online, testing systems. We're going to keep on working on this till the end of our quarter and um, as we get the new owner lined up. And speaking of the new owner, we do have, when Bob's here, we have a signed coffee table book of Bob's and signed uh, set of construction drawings, the front page is signed, not the ones that we tattered up, but um, a nice set for the new owner. So that'll be a treat. It was just that the new owner is going to get that boat. And one of them is signed copy of, of Bob's book here. So um, that's what we just been doing this morning. Your shoulder. And uh, oh, I got close ups already. They'll get to see it. And we'll zoom in. So that's what we're up to is this cool sail away package. There's other people in Anacortes that are doing things. And by the way, if you're uh, doing a book signing, you should always bring some smoked salmon and uh, some scotch never hurts. I think we got a better picture out of that deal. <laughs> it was great to hear the stories about either what people like to do with this boat or other boats and what they were doing. So it was fun. We're also taking a day off this week. It's been months since we've taken a day off. We're taking the students again on Black Pearl, um, my own boat. Because yes, so this is Instructor Beamer's 47 foot Skookum motor sailor that was born over in Port Townsend in the early 70s. I've been cruising this vessel since 1991. So here's a sneak peek of the Black Pearl, planning on this fall shooting some videos once we have the big King's Pride project done about this boat and all the stories and systems and fun stuff that she has. Looking forward to this next fall. Because we need a large boat that'll take a lot of people because there's a small dock up on a little island north of here that used to be owned by Old Man Fluke. And Old Man Fluke, of course, started our multimeter company uh, that was Northwest legend. And we use those meters as students. And so we're gonna go up and, and pay homage to, uh, 
to that hike up the top of the island and, and my students I've seen pictures of it before but I've never been there personally so the Skagit Valley College Boat Club that is the Scallywags we're going on a field trip um, for all of those that can we're going in the morning we didn't cancel classes or anything they're still responsible to come to school on Thursday but it should be fun so thanks again for watching and uh, keeping these updates and we'll we'll keep the videos coming out uh, all the way up until we splash this thing and take it for a sale. So, see you later.